Hello to the channel. Friday night. Welcome. Hope you're all doing well. As Helen says. Not ref not a reference to the Celtic window or anything. Just try to see if there's anybody actually arriving. <laughs> anyway, I'm in a new place in the screen again. We're just mixing it up here for the content, you know. What can I say? Pretty pretty abject at the old editing and stuff. So if you want to watch something that's well edited, watch Royal Levy, watch Jack P, watch Quinnier, whatever. Um, if you want to watch somebody talk shite, then come and watch the channel. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go. It's rewards night. Nothing humongous. Um, pre pretty sort of strong midweek all round. So 12 rewards. Don't, don't mean that to be, be too bad. Like, um, obviously some people struggle to win and things as well. But yeah, 12 rewards, really good. Big week coming up as well, or big weekend coming up, sorry, um, of FIBA. Uh, Celtic playing, kind of feeling the league's coming back and everything now as well, you know. So like Asian games coming back and... MLS friendlies, all that sort of stuff. We we'd like to see like Messi playing and everything this month as well. So that's going to be um really really exciting. So I'll have a wee quick look at again at the um the gallery. Put me back in my place. A way out the way. A way out the way. Get out of here. Um. So big arrival this week. Oh, hang on. That's wrong. <laughs> Set the highest price instead of new. Don't show the wife their prices. So there we go. The new arrival, Zach Kemen. Can he beat it? Now, I'll tell you later why we um, bought Zach Kemen, but there he is. Antoine Griezmann. Can we do the, the celebration? Big Antoine. Welcome to the gallery. Deadline day signing. Um, there he is in all his glory. I don't know why I've not won this guy before. I don't know. I mean, it's um, it's one of those like, I guess champ euro wise. Like, sometimes you shy away from paying the the big money for a guy who is thirty two, etc. He has been talking about, um, well, I've been doing my research on this. He likes America, <laughs> so uh, that's me. I've 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 nailed myself to the mast here. He's not going to Saudi Arabia. He's going to do a few years at, um, Atletico Madrid. He's going to smash up the Euros, beat England in the final. Um, but yeah, kind of looking ahead a wee bit towards the Euros. Um, Hugo Bueno, somebody said he might be going to Celtic, so I just piled in at 17 quid. Like, oh, whatever, you know. Um, Mike Novrocki with the wee look about, look at before as well. So, so there we go. Um, we're going to open the rewards and then we're going to have a look at midweek because, um, because I'll be talking more about Celtic, no doubt. Um, but we'll have a look at the spreadsheet and see. There's anybody else playing, and then we'll we'll talk about Celtic again. So if you don't like Celtic, this is the point to just fuck off and just it's a Friday night. Just go and get a beer or something. And just say, well, that's that. He's going to be talking about Celtic again. So anyway, so coins, loads of so coins. These don't actually have any value at the moment. If you are new to the channel, etc., are new to so rare. Four thousand so coins sounds good. Um, you can't really do hee haw with that. But anyway. Premier League um winter special, so it's been pretty interesting. Competition really enjoyed. Um it's good to have like this sort of cash tournaments, etc. And you know, um so having the discussions about it. If you win a card, you know, you just get a, it's a random card. Sometimes you win a good one, sometimes you'd be disappointed. If you win like ten dollars or ten euros or ten pounds or whatever or whatever in Ethereum, then you can never really be disappointed at that because you you know that's what you've won and you choose to do what you want with it. So it's been interesting and we'll, we'll see what happens obviously going forward. I can't remember what I won in this thing. It's about seven quid or something. £7.95. So there we go. That that has paid for four Guinness. Four Guinness. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money for an extra Freddo, but, you know, if we won at least a million pounds in Champion Rare with inflation and all that sort of stuff, maybe we'd get a four-pack of Freddos. But Champion Europe Rare... 47 quid 47 quid so that is as guaranteed that we can have guinness for at least another five or six weeks um you never know cap cap to 40 super rare and um, maybe we'll be able to afford to buy the wife a lampson but if we can afford to buy her a lamp what we're going to say is no 
we're going to be Peter Lawwell in the champ um the the transfer window and just saying, Oh, I'm not sanctioning that lamp. Fucking no chance. The biscuit tin is closed. So there we go. What did we get? £157 of Ethereum. Save Ethereum, I take my prize in Ethereum. I've been a long time user of Sora. That's how I roll. So everybody is different, but you know, if you want to take that fiat, that's fine. Um there was say fiat there, I was thinking about Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari, but anyway, this is not a Formula One show. And then again, Premier League winter special, eleven pounds ninety two, so of Ethereum. So yeah, um gonna miss that tournament. It's a wee bit of a shame that there's no news that there's another tournament coming, but you know, the roadmap's due. We're gonna get the news and everything from Soraya pretty soon. Um so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um so anyway, a couple of our rewards, nothing too huge in terms of tiers. Um only tears this window have been the Celtic fans at the transfer window. Um, no offence to Adam Eda or anything. I'm sure he's a wonderful human being and all that sort of stuff. So, Champion Europe Limited, Tier 5. Um, probably a Tadger is Tier 5. Like, you know, Argentinian defender. German Pizzella. Good stuff. Sorry for calling you a Tadger there, German. Um, so, I've offended the Germans and I've offended an Argentinian. Anyway... I think we better move on. I promise as well, ladies and gentlemen, or mainly gentlemen, because no ladies watch the show. Um, I have only had uh, four Guinness so far. So it's a Friday night. We're doing the rewards. Um, we'll go from there. Cap 240 Limited, Tier 3. Brazilian, that's usually good. Mid. Fulham, Pereira. Nice. That would have been good if there was another Premier League competition. <laughs> Anyways, we'll move on. We'll move on. Tier 2, Under 23 Limited. One of my favourite competitions. I mean, just the Under 23s in general. Um, It's pretty interesting. Guys always time out and, you know, regeneration and wonder kids and new guys coming through all the time and all our um, sort of younger you know, guys, boys like, but... You know, under 23, 18, 19 year olds, yeah, um, Yamal, etc. at Barcelona, everybody's quite hyped. Is he in the next Messi? And, you know, it's um, it's all good stuff. So, tier 2 limited is always good. And, you know, it's not the ultimate put on. <sighs> Javier, I do like Javier. I feel like um, David Brent there when he fucking, it's like, he's going, <laughs> he's going in a blind date and he's like, yeah, I'm going to get a good cast. Oh, for fuck's sake. English, for fuck's sake. Anyway, right, so we'll get past that. Um, so rares, what we're going to do, we'll go for the tier 4 rare first. Cap 270 Limited. I don't know what that country is. Omar Colley. I've actually, I'll, I don't, I should know Scambia. I should know because I've already got an Omar Colley and now I get two. So there we go. <laughs> Tier 3 rare, so under 23 rare plus and under 23 rare. I mean, I must admit, pretty good performances in the midweeks, etc. It's, um, it's been good. Um, so we'll look at next week soon. It's going to be quite Celtic dominant, which is good for me, but under 23s, etc. Kind of try to um, build the gallery out so that I've got the cards to play in all the midweeks and things. So that's definitely um, paid off. So under 23 rare plus. I think it should really make any difference. American forward. Red Bull, Searching Goma, stuff, 17, so, so that's obviously the older season card, yes, so, um, some are looking at all these shiny 3D cards and stuff now, but, um, he's a pretty rated talent, so, so that's pretty good, I mean, obviously 30th, um, also, it's not 30th, the midweek, it's, um, and a weekend, sorry, it's 30th on a midweek, so, you know, there's not as many entrants and all that sort of stuff. Under 23 there, tier 3. Nigerian. For, oh, Simhen? No, that. <laughs> Again. Tola Oro Kodari. That is easy enough for me to say after 4 Guinness. But anyway. Well, it's not 4 Guinness yet. That's the fourth one. Welcome to the galley. Tolo. I think he's tall, so we'll call him Big Tolo. Um, that will do us. And then, um, Champion Euro Rare. So, 
quite good effort here. It was a bit frustrating. Um, so I remember the team, Odegaard played the ball with Jesus and he hit the post from like five yards out. So that would have got us in the top 10. Um, and also Arsenal conceded late as well and I had Zinchenko defend their card. So that also, but you know, very grateful for the, the prizes and the rewards. Um, nearly enough there to buy the wife a lamp, but yeah, we've not quite hit the threshold yet, and I know that's a touchy subject to these days, so <laughs> let's not talk about that. Tier 2 there. Let's go. Who we got? Ecuadorian defender. Brighton, this Jupin. Nice. Big Pervis. Um, he's actually been playing really well since he's come back, so interestingly, I think I've got his limited, but don't own him in rare. So we're entering roulette with the guy who's worth it, worse at roulette than Pep. Um, big deserve, but yeah, I mean, I have to say, um, pretty happy with that. To be honest, like that's a, a pretty good midweek. So anyway, I went, I went for a piss there, and I can't remember what I said before I went for a piss. So if this bit doesn't kind of flow or whatever, it would just recorded it as is. So, so no idea what I was talking about there. We'll move on to the next part. So, um, the spreadsheet. <laughs> so, Biggie Gal. Um, I always tag him here in the videos, well on Twitter anyway, so rare probabilities. Um, and he's, he has, he's delivered this fantastic spreadsheet, which surely must be wrong for midweek because there's no Celtic on it. So I think the data still got, <laughs> there I am bigging up the spreadsheet. That can't be right. Yeah. Um, I think we're still waiting on some of the challenger data. So let me just double check. Yeah, uh, this is what happens. You update. Oh, running the script. Running the script. Update the data. The data is only updated to this morning. So this is what happens. This is a an actual ad hoc view of the spreadsheet. You get into the spreadsheet. You press the button. Update all data. So, um, as I said before a couple of times, I've no. No sort of real reason to sell the spreadsheet or anything. Um, the gal's a good guy. Um, he's been doing his probability stuff, and I've been sort of using it a bit on and off the last couple of years. Not always used the spreadsheet, and he's developed this sort of awesome spreadsheet, and basically it pulls in your um information from your own gallery. So rather than going looking just at who's the best for this game week or whatever, it pulls in all the stats, all the the stats for the or the data for the teams, it pulls in your own players, gives you some project scores and stuff. So it's it's a pretty cool thing and I must admit, um, you know, being a sort of drunk Scotsman and, you know, incapable of working stuff or you know, I'm managing YouTube I suppose, but it's not it's not the most polished of channels. But it's been a really good help. Um and just some clarity of thinking, this is what I want to do. These are the guys with the highest project scores, all um pretty good. And pretty interesting, so let's see if it's actually worked yet. Anyway, guys, the um spreadsheet's still downloading all this sort of data, etc. So apologies to you, gal. That is not the best um showcase of the spreadsheet. If anybody watches, then obviously you'll see all the magic happening pretty often. What we're gonna do is we'll do another video on Sunday night, etc. and we'll We'll pick some teams and we'll get the full data up. Um just want to have a quick look at midweek though. Um I think it's quite interesting. Like um there's not many under 23 goalkeepers for a start. So first thing is I think that the available goalkeepers like Zach Hemming, um, Will Dennis, although he might or might not be available. So I've actually picked up a Zach Hemming. Um so in terms of defenders, Owen Beck, pretty good shout. Um was like with Celtic before as well. Um, also, keep an eye out for Celtic tomorrow. So, Mike Novrocki, I think, is going to start. You've got Big Mike. Uh, Matt O'Reilly, everybody knows. You're looking for somebody cheaper. But Leighton Clarkson against Rangers, pretty hard game for Aberdeen. So, that's a tough one. David Tumble won't have a fixture, I don't think, because he's away to um, Cardiff. Um, Quan could be a sort of sneaky shout. Could could do some AA stuff. Um against um, Dundee. Um, Louise Palmer, Nicholas Kuhn, you know, 
obviously if Kuhn gets some more minutes at the weekend, he's going to be in the running. Um, Abada as well, so we've got Leal Abada. Um, this is not the actual selection, just wanted to have a chat about it. Um, and Paolo Bernardo as well. So that, that's the thing with Celtic, right? Celtic are becoming um, you know, sort of under 23 um, type team. I, I noticed something really interesting here as well, and take this into account, please, guys. Um, so under 23 rare plus, so this is the nature of the fixtures midweek. We've got Motherwell, Ross County, Rangers, Aberdeen Rangers are not minted. <laughs> Celtic are minted, but won't spend any money, the fucking Tadgers. Kilmarnock, Livingston, St Mirren, Dundee, St Johnson, Hearts, Celtic against Hibs. We've got a few games in Argentina, um, but not a lot of St Minted clubs. Libertadores, um, CONCACAF Champions Cup as well. Um, We've got Mainz against Union Berlin, and we've got in Primera A, which is a league that's covered in terms of scores, but no licensed teams in Patricia against Lyon. So there's absolutely hee hot on. Um, so in terms of why I'm explaining that, um, just had a few Guinness, and just, you know, just a few Guinness, and thought I'd just chat shite. Um, but anyway, if you look at prize pools, so under um, All Star Rare Plus. $200 first one star rare. Now, obviously, that star rare could be Jude Bellingham or Haaland or, or whatever, you know. I was going to say Bruno Fernandes, but he's been honking recently. But you know what I mean? It could be something from any region. Um, because, though, it's quite challenger based, look at this. Look at this. It's $430 for first, so there's more money in challenger. And also, you can get a star rare challenger as well. Now, but to weigh that up. But at the end of the day, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to um, play your team in All-Star? Maybe um, take the chance that most of the good teams are going to be in Challenger. Um, again, if you look at All-Star Super Rare, we've got um, Tier 2 Super Rare up top, um, Tier 2 Rare and $295. And then if you look at Challenger Super Rare, there is six hundred and forty dollars up top tier two super rare so um i think you've got to take this into account playing midweek a lot of guys might not have teams midweek i do get that um if you don't have teams midweek then you know i know that you won't want to be going mid oh oops i'm in the wrong place where am i gonna go there i am um I was doing a Royal Levy there, you know, it's getting closer on the screen and coming back, but he does look clever shit in the edges and stuff. So, um, so yeah, have a think about where to play your teams. Under 23 is like quite a restricted game week, but it's probably some pretty good prizes still available, but you know, you're going to have to have like the Celtic cards and whatever. So yeah, if you can't be arsed with any of that, that's fine. But you know, if you're playing midweek, I think you've got to take that stuff into account and then we'll be moving on to a big, um, weekend again. Everyone's sort of waiting for the news and the roadmap. Um, so there, and um, they did say they're available early. Um, in in February. These are P again there. So again, I can't remember what I was actually tra- chatting about. But um, yeah, the, I, I think it was about so uh, but it's so rare. Yeah, so rare video. Um, so yeah, the roadmap thing. Um, so hopefully the news will be out soon. I think that. The problem with the market and everything just now is people are not really what to spend and everything until they see what's happening. Um, so we had the EPL thing, it was a cash tournament, but also there's a requirement to play new season cards and stuff. So that leads people to believe that if there's going to be changes, you might need to do stuff like that. Um, so I understand why people are, if, they, if they've sold a card, always well, hold off till February, we'll see what's happening. Um, we have got a big year coming up, in my opinion. Um, we've got Euros, so there's a lot of utility. Um, get the end of the season still to come, and then we'll begin into next season as well. Um, Champions League, Europe-wise, we're, we're um, actually going to have more games. So, for example, in Scotland, um, Scotland play a lot of games over Christmas, etc. And usually you have a break in January, but there's not going to be a break this year. Um, or, well, that'll be next year, 2025. So... Why is that good? Well, you know, at the end of the day, people want to play, they want to get you utility, they want a chance to win. So, you know, that's um, how or why cards end up being 
more expensive, like the championship, you know, it's a tough league, um, but um, players tend to actually be pretty expensive there, particularly maybe goalkeepers because of loads of game weeks and stuff, loads of midweeks, that type of thing. So, so yeah, um, I think it's going to be a big year. Um, hopefully, if you got to the end of this video and you've stuck with us by this point, you've probably had as many Guinnesses as me. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and we'll go from there. As I said, shame the data's not all downloaded yet. That's probably me pressing the wrong buttons again. So it'll be nothing to do with you, gal. We'll absolve him of any blame. It'll be all my fault. Um, but we'll have a look again later on the weekend. We'll have a look at the best fixtures, the best players. It will be a bit of a restricted game week, so it'll be quite Celtic focused. So if you are a Rangers fan, you're probably not watching this anyway, but um, look away now. <laughs> Anyways, probably had a better transfer window than us. So as Haaland says, good luck and go fuck.